Amundsen Machine Works in Chicago is a third-generation family-owned manufacturer of precision hydraulic manifolds. The company had difficulties staffing their most repetitive tasks and now automated the engraving of parts in their pin stamper with a universal robot arm and a gripper from On Robot. The reason we chose the pin stamping for our first application into robotics is because we saw it as basically the easiest and the most repetitive task in the production floor. The process before the robot would be a human operator loading the pin stamp one by one all day, eight hours a day, all week. Programming the pin stamp is much harder than programming the gripper. Getting into learning the robot, I didn't have any experience. I mainly watched Alex do one program, and then after that, I kind of just took it over. And I think it was around 30 minutes. I flagged them down and said, hey, check this out. I think it's good. As let's say it's like a Thursday and we get a hot order. We'll get the job set up and it'll be on the saw. And on a Friday, I can have second ship run the robot, just loading it and unloading it. And then by Monday, we're already shipping the parts to the customer. The whole application is set up and controlled by the universal control box that comes with the robot. So we didn't need to add an extra PLC. We're able to plug it in right to the wall. We're able to control the gripper, our conveyors, any aspect of the system through the universal control box. Integrating the RG6 was basically plug it in and then it's ready to go. In order to program the gripper, we actually use the same lines of code for every single part. We start at the largest size that the gripper can handle and then close until it senses that it's closed with the part. Currently, we're around 20 to 30 different part numbers in the RG6. Switching from one part to the next part is around five to 10 minutes. Since we are able to let it run unattended for around 45 minutes, we're able to use the same person to run the line saw and also run the robot as well, opposed to having two separate people. Our previous pin stamp operator actually started cheering because we were able to move her to a different department where she was able to do more meaningful work. Before this system and the gripper, we definitely had lower profit margins on these small blocks and now when we see a small block we're not afraid to quote it because we know handling thousands and thousands of these will be done by the robot. We're able to focus more on the bigger parts and the more complex and longer cycle blocks that need more attention. The collaborative aspect was absolutely necessary. Uh, we knew we were not going to get a gripper or robot that might need guarding uh, because we're working in a tight environment. We don't want to have to have extra safety concerns. The biggest difference since we brought in the automation, we've seen about a 40% reduction in misloads uh, coming from engraving the wrong side or in the wrong directions. If we're calculating the fact that we can now run the universal robot on first and second shift, our return on investment would be roughly six to seven months. Everyone loves working with the robot. Everyone's intrigued with the gripper. We have employees bringing up other applications we could use the gripper in post-production or shipping or even loading up the CNC machines. And, you know, everyone's curiosity is at an all-time high. <laughs>